High yield success stories start from humble beginnings. Like this healthy soybean crop. It didn't start here, or here, or even here. It started right here. These are rhizobia bacteria. They're not a chemical. They're living organisms that actually provide most of the nitrogen needed for a high-yielding soybean crop. The story of high-quality BASF rhizobial inoculants used on millions of U.S. soybean, pea, lentil, and peanut acres begins in our plant in St. Joseph, Missouri. We first take a small amount of specially frozen rhizobia from the original naturally occurring bacterial strain. This strain was selected for its ability to help maximize nitrogen fixation and nodulation. The DNA profiles of the bacteria are checked for genetic purity by our quality assurance team. They test to make sure no changes have occurred from the original mother strain. Once they pass the test, the bacteria are placed in a test tube called a slant. It's kept refrigerated for several days to allow the rhizobia to revive from their frozen state, to become active, and begin to grow and multiply. Next, the bacteria are transferred into a shake flask. This happens under a hood in a sterile environment. From beginning to end, keeping everything pure and sterile is key to prevent any contaminants or competing organisms from making their way into the liquid inoculant products. The shake flasks then go to a shaker table where a combination of motion, air incorporation, and temperature help the bacteria grow to a higher concentration. At each step, the number and concentration of the bacteria increases dramatically. As you'd expect, the shake flasks go through a series of quality tests before they're released to be used. Next, the bacteria are transferred into the seed tank. The seed tank has airflow, agitators, and special sterilized food ingredients to help grow the bacteria and keep them healthy. The tank is monitored daily by the quality team. They perform microscopic analysis, HPLC analysis, and several plating functions on the bacteria to make sure they're growing at the right rates and meeting BASF quality and count standards. If they pass, they move to larger and then still larger tanks ending up in the growth fermentation area. These very large tanks are heated until they're completely sterile and free from any possible contaminants. And then the bacterial broth is transferred here through sterile pipes for the final fermentation process. Water and proprietary sterile media are added and the bacteria starts to grow exponentially. The fermentation tank is also monitored daily by the quality team. Once again, the bacteria must meet our quality and count standards. Over time, they slowly begin to require less food and oxygen. When they reach this lower activity level, they're ready to harvest and package. The next stop is our new state-of-the-art automated filler. This autofiller represents a major investment by BASF to ensure our high-quality inoculants are available in the amounts our customers need and when they need them. The liquid inoculant comes through a sterile line into the machine where it's accurately measured and put into the sterile bladders. These bladders pass over a check scale to make sure each one has the correct amount of inoculant. Of course, all lots of bladders are checked by our quality team before they leave the plant to make sure they meet quality, cell count, and purity of strain standards. This ensures their viability and on-seed survival and performance in the field. Finally, the bladders go to the warehouse to be packaged with other possible inoculant product components, like extenders, to increase their on-seed survivability, or other biological or bioactive performance-enhancing elements. Each package is checked for weight to assure that no component has been missed, and that the exact amounts of products are in each package. A robot precisely puts the boxes onto pallets, and the pallets are wrapped for shipping. Throughout this process, the quality checking continues in every step. An average production run of one finished lot of inoculant will typically include close to 100 quality and process checks. 
What's the point of all this checking? To make certain that when a grower's seeds are treated with an inoculant and go into the field, the rhizobial bacteria are stabilized and ready for the critical job of ensuring effective nodulation and maximizing nitrogen fixation and yield potential. BASF isn't the only company that makes inoculant products, and we know that. But we believe our commitment to the highest quality standards, safety, and most importantly, product performance is unique to the industry. And now you know why. BASF. We create chemistry.